Welcome. What I want to do today is show you how to add two polynomials. So on the first polynomial I have is 2n minus 2n cubed plus 3n plus 5n cubed. Now the main important thing when we're adding polynomials, and in this time we have a binomial because we have two terms for each polynomial, what we need to do is we need to make sure we remember we can only combine like terms. And what that means is um, when we're dealing with numbers and exponents, we can only add terms that have the exact same base with the same exponent. So here you can say I have 2 to the n, well n is actually going to be the first power, and then here I have 3 to the n to the first power. Therefore, I can only combine a 2n to the first with a 3n to the first, and here I have a negative 2n cubed, and I can only combine that with a 5n cubed. So it's really important when, at, when looking at polynomials to look at what the base is, your variable, and then look at the exponent because we can only combine, add or subtract, um, when they have exactly the same base and exponent. So to do this now, the next thing we're going to want to do is I'm going to want to arrange it in a friendly manner. And if you remember when you first did you know, adding, we looked at the vertical method. So for right now, I'm going to show you how to add these vertically. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just write 2n minus 2n cubed plus, now it's really important for you to make sure that you align uh, your polynomials correctly. I don't want to put n cubed under the, but I can only add a positive 5n cubed to the negative 2n cubed. And then I have plus a 3n. All right. So, oh, positive. So, as you can see, what I'm now going to be doing is I'm just going to simply add a cross. Since these are the, they are the exact same terms, I can just simply add them. 2n plus 3n is going to give you 5n. And then a negative 2n cubed plus 5n cubed gives you a positive 3n cubed. Now, last thing we want to do is make sure that we write this in descending order. So our standard form for our polynomial, we want to write the largest exponent, which we call the degree, first. So I'm going to write 3n cubed plus 5n. All right, so it's just important, it's just helpful to write that first uh, uh, term with our highest exponent. And that's how you add two polynomials. Thanks.